Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and in this video we're going to be having an in-box review of Hobby Boss's absolutely fantastic 132nd scale Spitfire Mark 5B. Uh, this is in 132nd scale as well um, and I know out there you do have the Tamiya 132nd scale Spitfire, absolutely stunning kit. Without a doubt the, the Tamiya one is the better um, out of um, um, Hobby Boss. However, you know, there is a cost factor in this. I mean, the Tamiya is about, I mean, you could pay 90 to 100 pounds for the Tamiya. Hobby Boss, I mean, I've looked on the internet and I've seen one for about 30 pounds. So actually an absolutely stunning bargain um, to, to get the Hobby Boss version. Plus um, this is the, the Mark V. B version as well so you you know just in case you you want to have a different version of Spitfire so let's open it up and see what we get inside uh, we've got a nice um, nice uh, sort of satin um, glossy paper here which is sort of indicating all our decals and our markings gives us a nice color call out as well for uh, things like Mr. Hobby Vallejo, Model Masters, Tamiya, Humbro. Uh, we've got two markings all together um, which strangely enough when one is actually got the dark earth and the dark green um, sort of Battle of Britain type uh, camo pattern on top of all which is which is rather cool as well again you've got the color, same color collets for that um, moving along let's just start getting out some of the plastic here um, I haven't actually open this one up yet uh, it is a big kit so i do want to i don't want to want to get out every single piece every single sprue i just want to sort of give you a general idea um so look at this the packaging as you can see is rather good especially around our uh, fuselage section just here they really wanted to protect this area um, so let's bring you right in now hopefully what you can see here is um Actually, this surface detail looks really, really good uh, compared to the Tamiya. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's sort of getting close to it. I mean, it's not as good as the Tamiya. I mean, we've got lots of um, recessed rivets along here. Uh, they are fine, but I don't think they're finer than the Tamiya one. We've got really good um, recessed panel lines as well. They're very crisp, very sharp. Um, bags and bags of surface detail, you know, all over this model. We've got sort of like a rib section here as well for where all our engine cowls and everything are gonna go on. We've got our instrument display panel as well. Hopefully you can see loads of lovely detail going on there as well. We've got some engine cowls just here as well. You can sort of see those recessed sort of um, bolts and that inside there. Uh, same with the opposite side with the fuselage section. On the inside, yes, we do have our sort of rib detail in there um, and all sorts of little bits of detail. There's lots of stuff that's still got to be glued on inside of here. Um, eject pin marks on this particular sprue um, actually don't look too bad at all. Uh, moving along, let's have our other bit of surface detail, which is our big piece, a nice big piece of wing section. Right, hopefully you can see along here. Again, the surface detail on this kit is really, really impressive. I mean, the, the Tamiya kit is even more impressive, uh, but this is still impressive. I mean, you can't really grumble, especially, you know, when you're talking just 30 pounds for the kit, it really is an absolute stunning bargain. Hopefully you can see there absolutely gorgeous detail on the, the top parts of our wing section. Again, same lovely surface detail, um, but we've got all these cutouts so we can have MGs and ammo bays and stuff 
on show. Uh, on the underside, I mean, nothing really that needs to be sort of shown, really. Um, moving along. Um, in this sprue here, I don't really want to sort of harp on too much about the little sprues, but a bit of engine cowl, propellers and everything. Everything looks fine in there. Uh, now, this kit was released in 2011, I do believe. So, it's sort of um, a relatively newish mould, only like maybe five or six years old. Um, you know, and it's still doing quite well. Apparently it fits rather well as well, not as well as our Spitfire here. Not as detailed as our, sorry, not as, it doesn't fit as well as say our, our Tamiya. Um, it's not as well detailed, but you know, I still like how there's still so much this kit has for offer for 30 pounds. I mean, it is, it is a bargain basically. Um, rest of the detail we have all sorts of tail sections and flaps and slats and ailerons and stuff going on here. Same level of detail that we've got going on with the surface detail that you saw on the wing section, the fuselage section. Absolutely lovely. Not really seeing any major problems with eject pin marks or flash. Right, we've got a few more um, bits here as well. Um, let's see, we can show you this one. We do have an option to have our engine on display as well, which does look rather good. We've got our MGs here, you know, they're rather sort of nicely detailed as well, which we can have on display. We've got uh, some um, ammo belts as well here. All right, we turn it over. Um, I, I, it's not on this sprue, but I did notice on one of the sprues there was a bit of um, ejector pin marks, which did look a little bit of a pain. Let's move this along. Oh, we got this here. What's hiding in here? Let's have a little look. Uh, just a, a delicate sort of piece, as you can see just there, part of the engine detail. Uh, we've got the engine block here. Um, you know, we do have some detail in there looking rather good. Um, the top of our engine, as you can see, we've got all sorts of detail bits of bolts, um, possibly some back of the engine section as well, some wires and stuff going on there. Um, you know, there is a lot of detail. Again, you know, the Tamiya kit is better there is more detail with the engine it's crisper and better and stuff but this is still sort of a really good kit uh, we've got some cockpit detail along here with all sorts of little bits of detail going on turn this over and i do believe there was a few ejector pin marks was there um uh, maybe not on that screw it must have been this 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 is the one that had a few ejector pin marks in a few places um, but apart from that, the rest of the kit has been fine. If I just show you, yeah, where is it? Um, you got sort of bits of detail like here. I mean, there's a fair few ejector pin marks. You can just sort of see them just there and there and there and there. On this one as well, there's a few going around it. There and there. Uh, you know, there's a fair sort of few. Uh, but still, I mean, it's not sort of completely horrid. Um, it was just this one sort of sprue, but there's all sorts of bits of seat detail going on with this and um, cockpit detail as well, all sorts of little bits and um, joysticks and levers and, 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 and all sorts of cool stuff. And it is looking all rather nice and crisp and, and it's going to be a well detailed uh, Spitfire Mark IV. Uh, then we have some clear parts just in here. We do have rubber wheels which is also rather cool uh, i won't get this one out but um all our sort of i do believe these are the panels for all our engines you know all that on the wing section where you can have the the, the ammunition bays open and everything they're all in clear strangely but you know they are still there then we have our <coughs> our cockpit section which as you can see is extremely well packaged I'm just going to carefully cut into this without cutting into the to our um, canopy section. Right, and as you can see, canopy are looking absolutely stunning, crystal clear, not really any marks or scratches on this at all. You cannot grumble. Nice bit of um, canopy section there. 
Let's carefully put that out the way. Uh, then we've got some the instructions. The instructions they are not in colour, uh, matte, plain paper, uh, black and white. It goes through um, the instructions, you know, quite clearly enough to sort of get you there, you know. And it is a simple construction. You got the um, cockpit first, then it's your engine section. Bring your few, uh, do some of your internal ammunition and MG bays, and bring your two um, wing sections together. Bring your two fuselage halves together, um, and then you know you bring the rest of the model together, and and that's it. It is quite simple. It's a lot more simpler. Uh, than the Tamiya 132nd scale, put it that way. Um, and you do get some options of having some uh, bombs as well. The decals or decals, right, in their own nice bit of packaging as well. Right, we do have, I do believe, I may have to cut this just slightly. Carefully cut into this. Right, we do have our decals here, which um, um, they are made by Hobby Boss. Um, we do have our instrument display panels on here and some nice sort of logo work and everything. Looks in registry, looks kind of good. Um, I, I have done, um, when it comes to decals, it's always a case of um, you don't really know until you actually put them down whether they're going to be good or not or what decaling solutions they're going to sort of work with. Um, I have found with Hobby Boss that they're not the best in the world but you can sort of you know just about get there um, in the end with them. Um, then we have the, the biggest section of decals just on here. We just open these up. Um, as you can see we have uh, nice detail on here. You can sort of make out the smaller print um, on here. They are a little bit on the glossy side, right? Uh, they do look in registry. The colours are sort of all there. Uh, not really any sort of fading. Um, there should be no real sort of major issues, hopefully, with these with these decals. Um, so that is the whole kit and. Um, I think really just to sum this up, it's going to look an absolutely fantastic kit. It's not going to be so far behind the um, the Tamiya 132nd scale, but at £30 to go out and buy this kit, it just makes it, a, it is, it's an absolute bargain. I couldn't, to, to be honest with you, I thought it was going to cost more um, than um, I, I thought it was going to be, because actually you do get a lot of plastic a lot of detail and a lot of stuff here for just a simple case of £30, um, a lot more um, um, bargain than, than, than the Tamiya one. Um, so it is a, definitely a big thumbs up and a well recommended kit here at Genesis Models. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. So until next time, my name is Bob Baldwin, this is Genesis Models um, and I hope you've enjoyed.